Hey guys, I'm going to a call that I went to and charged it up like three months ago. I did a leak search and could not find the link. And this is a 1990s carrier heat pump split. It's kind of raining, so let's see what we can do. All right, he wants me to just charge it up and then the next time out we will deal with possibly replacing this this is a 1996 r22 unit little two-ton heat pump but he wants it to cool right now so let's go inside and turn it on Ooh, we got 1.3 PSI. <clears throat> That's terrible. Has something happened out here? Let's take a quick look. Everything's wet, so I oh, that was rubbing right there. That was rubbing. I don't really feel a hole. Alright, I'm gonna backseat this again. Backseat it. Turn this off real quick. And we're gonna hook our gauges up. This little umbrella is saving me. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a trace of refrigerant and then we're gonna pressurize with nitrogen. I didn't want that to happen. Oh my word, I can hear it hissing in here. We just, we gotta find it. Well, it was hissing right there. I still think it might be hissing in there somewhere. Y'all forgive me, he wants air conditioning. But it's kind of cool and wet right now.
when it's completely out like this I really do suspect something outside <clears throat> it up it's acting like I ain't got a whole lot of pressure in my nitrogen tank we're getting on up there we're almost to a hundred psi Can y'all hear that? I hear it hissing, I just don't know where it is. Yep, right there. Right there where I found it rubbing. Let's see if I can get y'all in a little closer. right here well it looks like we ain't charging it up at least not today um that right there is not a dryer you see that's on the hot gas discharge and goes into the top of the reversing valve that's a muffler it looks a whole lot like a dryer, but it's not. Back seat this again. Back seated. By the way, these are new hoses for me. It's probably been three years since I've had new hoses, so it was long over too. They couldn't hold a vacuum. All right guys, so this customer gave me approval to fix and put on the schedule for a replacement, but I advised him, you know, hey, why don't we fix this and wait and see, because um, this may be the original problem I was out there for. I just didn't find a leak. Um, another company had been out before me and gave him an $8,000 estimate for that two-ton system. And uh, I didn't do that. I didn't find a leak, so I didn't give him an estimate to replace. And this time I found a leak that's repairable. But if he wants to replace later on, I'd be more than happy to. But I did advise him to wait and see. But I'm going back tomorrow morning to do that little repair, and I'll bring y'all along. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.